guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 16 of season 2 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Holy fuck, that's loud in my ear. Yes, it is. I'm gonna try to move this real quick. Hmm. This is not the smartest thing to do. <laughs> of course! Basically. This bitch. Like, seriously. And she's just gonna- oh, okay, never mind. She's just using lightning. Oh. But that worked. Oh, monkey. Yeah, bitch, go! Oh. Get her, got her right in the nut. Right there, right there, right there! There you go! Seismic top that bitch! Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, this is like the one time that I kind of wish that they had water. They could have just doused these two bitches in water and they would have been dead. Oh, God. <laughs> hmm. oh my god, somebody get this kid, please. Yeah, see, he doesn't really give a shit about who he's attacking. He doesn't give a shit about not to go. Just take him and go. Hmm. We're trying. Um, Inca? Okay, so Ritsu kind of scares me, but I like it, though. Um... I'm scared about what the fuck she about to do. I'm scared that Inka's saying that somebody might die. I, uh, you, mm -mm. I, I'm not really expecting someone to die today, but you know, if somebody dies today, you know, um, okay. I have no problem with that. Just don't kill, you know, the important people. I mean, if they kill dude, you know, Puppeteer is going to go about your nuts. And I, I don't want my favorite VA 
to just be here for this arc and then die. I want her to stick around if this show does get a third season and a fourth season. I'm just saying. I don't want it to be like, yeah, like, fuck it. We're just going to kill this bitch. I mean, I want to see Inca do something today. You got best girl puppeteer doing shit today, so thank you. But we need Inca to do something today. It'll be weird if they killed, like, Iris or, um, Tamaki. I, and I don't think they'll do that. I mean, they're too, they're too valuable to the plot for wherever the hell this is going to go. And how this is going to make sense. Because, you know, my baby show, show has not appeared since first season. And I need that boy to come. Like, please show up. Like, God, 16 episodes into the second season and he's not here yet. No. Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> he might kill all them in one second. Okay, where's not to go? This motherfucker, he's too powerful. He just killed like people in this cult. What? Okay, get the kid. Go, 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 go. Oh, damn it! No. Oh. Okay, go, 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 go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hold him tight, please. No, Inca, Inca. Oh, catch him. Okay, go. Oh, no. Are we really playing football with a kid? Okay, uh, Ritsu, what the hell are you about to do? Hmm? Oh, fuck. Inka, what the hell? That's one badass bitch that we just don't want to fuck with. <laughs> oh my god! They're not attacking. They're combined. That thing looked like a freaking... Mm. Okay. Um, How are we going to get him back now? Yeah. Hey, she gotta do what she gotta do. Hmm? You would get a call now. I mean, out of all the people to get a call, it's kind of no. Like, well, well, <laughs> yeah, you are an idiot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, he means you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, can we kick back now? I mean, can you take that thing down by yourself, though? You're not leaving, are you? No, he's not. 
Okay, thank God. I was like, for a moment, if he would have left and just said, oh, hey, Shinra, this is all up to you, I would have been like, what? I was like, you were technically kind of helping. Just a baby. I mean, come on now. Poor baby. He is just... That's his hell. That is... Oh my god. <laughs> mm hmm But? Yeah, he is! I mean... Even in death. And she probably battled him too as well, maybe. I don't know. I mean... Mm. Poor baby. Basically. Yeah, because that... Uh, he's not himself anymore. This kid is just like... <laughs> I don't know anymore. This child. But not without him, though. But I, 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 oh, there we go. <laughs> I mean, my thing is like, can't you just cut him out of the infernal? But then that would be too easy, and you know we can't have it be too easy all the time, right? I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, in this, oh, <laughs> oh, 
how quickly she moved. But still, somebody is going to die by the end of this episode. I mean, we got nine minutes left. And just, mm, when you smell death threats and see them death flags, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but you still need to watch out for that. Then there's no way in hell you can break that thing down just to get Don to go out of there. And then Colonel, he's just freaking standing there. What the heck are you gonna do? You oh my god, are you serious? Oh? oh well that kinda knocked him over a little bit. Oh okay. We'll take that. And take your time, Shuna, okay? You picked the wrong time to show up! Yeah, basically. I mean, oh my god! Reality is like the best thing ever. <laughs> of course you will. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, she can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, at least she won't get shocked again. Now she's going around here like she's fucking Spider-Man. Ask Puppeteer to help you. No, 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 we ain't even there yet, so don't do anything. Just sit your ass right there. <laughs> oh, God. Can we just say that Arthur is like the male version of uh, Rika-chan <laughs> from because <laughs> I, I love his determination and imagination and everything because he, he had such a really fucked up um, upbringing and I'm glad that he used you know what he used to like have a better life for himself like no offense. But it's so cute. He does honestly really give me Rikachan vibes because um, he he's so very similar to her in Love, Chinobo, and Other Illusions. You can just see it, except he's just a guy version. He's sweet, though. Okay. I love the fact that we're seeing characters who, at first, because they're bad guys, really wouldn't work together with the good guys, but we're seeing it together. Seeing Puppeteer and Maki work together. Yes, I need that in my life. Thank you. Um... I don't know how the hell this is going to end. If this is going to end good for them or bad for them, essentially if Shinra is going to be able to take um, Natako and keep him safe, if Natako gets taken away because, of course, he is a pillar and he has a job to do at the end of the day, it's complicated right now because we don't know how the outcome is going to go. But, oh, baby boy. Huh. Let him be okay. I, I need him to just be okay. He just, like, what? He a 10-year-old kid, maybe 8, 9, and he doesn't know what's right from wrong. He did a baby, and I love him. He's cute. Even though What's-His-Face fucked him up in season 1 to have the destiny that he has now, I feel bad for him, but... God. I want to cry, because I just want to tell him it's okay. But... No one died? Yeah! <laughs> Nobody died. Which, in my book, is kind of sad because I wanted to at least see someone die. Oh. Oh, oh are we going to see more of your arm and what else? Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, if this is going to go from what I think it is, because I think episode 17 is the last episode for the arc that we're currently on. I'm not 100% sure, because um, it's been like two, three weeks since Crunchyroll has posted the poster for it, unless it's from episode 15 to the end of the series. Just don't know. If episode 17 is the last episode of this arc, my money is... Kurino will die next week just to do like some weird ultimate sacrifice how um Horikoshi killed um 
What the fuck was his name? As someone who's read the damn manga from My Hero at, at that season and know who the fuck died before everybody else knew when it got animated and I don't remember his damn name. Uh, uh, All Might's former partner, him. Um, if it's like that, if they decide, if he, if, if Curry no dies, I won't be surprised. If Curry no dies, no matter what, I'll probably be a little surprised, but it, it's just, the signs are kind of there. And especially when you look at this preview, it seems like, okay, you're going to die. And because the title is like something that it seems like Curry no will say from what I've seen in other animes, movies, and TV shows, 50 out of 50, you die next. If he doesn't, then it's okay. Um, if Puppeteer survives, I'll be happy. Because you know no matter what. Because she's best girl for me. I'm just saying that. She needs to survive though. I I, I just I don't know what else to expect. It, it just seems like episode 17 is going to be the last episode of this arc. So I hope they're able to get him out of this giant inferno. And I hope that Shinra is able to, you know, grab him in time before, you know, our little cult group is like, yeah, come on, let's go ahead and take him. And then, you know, let's give him the show and shit like that for shits and giggles. But who knows? We ain't really going to know until next Friday, which sucks because I need to know now. I don't want to wait until Friday night at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock about to watch the last episode and just see how in the world this is going to go for this arc. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 16 of season 2 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday, Saturday for episode 17. Bye, guys.